Hey, I'm Mick at Whittle from Rivals, and this is my stuff. I play a Mexican Fender Tele HH. It's my beautiful little zebra pickups and a coil tap. Um, actually, this is my favorite guitar that I've ever got in my life. Uh, it's not expensive, but uh, it's good for swinging. Uh, I have two and a half inch bolts that go into this, so that way I can just swing the guitar for days. Um, and a uh, beautiful little DiMarzio strap. As for strings, I can show you actually. Diodario NYXLs. Uh, these are 11 to 49s, which is my preferred, and I've actually played a good portion of strings, but uh, for some reason, just like a medium top and like a rather thick bottom is just kind of where I'm at, you know? Um, as for settings on guitar, like, since I'm playing an HH, like realistically, it's just all of it. Just everything up and just play it from the back and just rage on stage. I used to be a guitar tech and I used to be a TM for another band. Um, and I was already doing this band, but I was kind of like going out into the world to just kind of like get experience and do all this other stuff and meet some people and whatnot. And uh, I used to play this like Frankenstein guitar that I had like collected pieces. And it wasn't even like I went out and bought like, I don't know, bare knuckles or something cool. It was literally, I had the very first guitar I ever owned in my life. I took all the paint off of it and I just found some pickups. I found like a bunch of, you know, like just different pieces that were just very random and put them all together. Uh, and I was on that for the longest time, um, and then going out and touring with the, with the other band that I worked for, um, I was like, you know what, for the first time in my life, I'm gonna buy a guitar. I'm gonna buy my guitar, I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna look for what I want. Um, and when we recorded Damn Soul, uh, John Espy, who plays drums for uh, Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, uh, he was our producer on the album, he was like, hey, you should try a Fender Telly. So we worked on the album a bunch, and when it came down to the like final recording of the album, uh, we used a, a Fender Telly, not this one specifically, but uh, a different one. And I really just liked the feel of it. I liked the sound of it. I liked just it just felt like me. So I was like, you know what? Let's try a Fender Telly. I've never had one in my life. So I sat, <laughs> I sat in the van while I was on tour with this other band, and uh, I it was just all day looking through guitars, and I was like, what Fender Telly is me? <clears throat> and when I saw this one, uh, I was like, first of all, the color, the paint color is called Ghost Silver. And at that moment, I was like, all right, let's give this one a try. Let's see how it goes. And uh, coincidentally, I ended up going to a guitar center uh, when I got home from that tour. And they had one just sitting there. And I was like, all right, let's play it. Let's see how this goes. And it was it was perfect. It was exactly what I wanted, it how, I, how it needed to sound, how it needed to feel. And... Um, Instead of picking up that one, I was like, hey, Guitar Center, uh, order me a brand new one. I like new things. So that's where that went, and that's how I ended up with this beautiful ghost silver guitar. I've always had uh, Dunlop picks, and then just recently, we got endorsed by this one company called Intune, and they let me do my own little graphic on it. This is my favorite part. <laughs> I got to put my face on a guitar pick, and I feel like as every guitar player, like, I don't want to say that's the dream, but I was super stoked. I was like, it's me. Whenever I throw it out, people would be like, who, whose pick is this? You just see my face and you know who it is. It's so simple. Uh, I went with a Marshall 1960A, uh, especially for a, a Fender Tele player, that's such a classic thing to go to. Um, I, this has Celestians in it, uh, and there are ones with greenbacks, but I felt the greenback was a little too harsh, and especially being <clears throat> on an HH, being on the humbuckers, uh, I needed something chunky and girthy and, and some good bottom end. Um, so moving on from that, the combination of that is uh, this Line 6 Pond Pro HD. And uh, I really went with a head modeler just because uh, when I did work for that other band, uh, I wanted to get a head. I was thinking about getting like a JCM from our Marshall. Uh, but I found that like I could only go so far with with a head and there's nothing wrong with that I love the sound of a traditional head with tubes and stuff like that but tubes break at some point and if you've been on tour like hey things bang around in the trailer it is what it is uh, and this is all solid state which I know it's not you know not everybody's a huge fan of but I actually went with this because I could run uh, one head uh, separately to the cab for a specific sound and then a completely separate head 
to the house so I can mix it in air and I can just use this for stage volume just because uh, sometimes the monitors aren't that great. It happens. It, it, that's life, you know? And, or sometimes they're not where you want them to be and I have control on stage uh, for that. And uh, to match that, I went with, obviously, uh, a Crown XLS 1500. Um, Crown makes great stuff. It's just what it is. Uh, and obviously, I just got something really, really big, you know, something far more than I need for my cab, just so, like, I have that play. I can go where I want with it, you know? This is a pretty genuine FBV uh, shortboard control for the Pod Pro HD. Um, surprisingly, uh, this was just, I, I've never really had pedals in my life. Like I've, I've had the singular pedals, but like I've never had like a pedal board like this. So getting into this, I was like, wow, like I can put anything anywhere, you know? And I thought that that was really cool. Um, and actually, between the head modeler, the uh, power amp, and this pedal, um, you can get a lot of this stuff used, and for really cheap. Just go to Craigslist. I actually got uh, my head modeler for 200 bucks, the Crown power amp for 200 bucks, and this for 150. So realistically, I, I mean, if you if you've heard it live, like it's a good chunky sound for not a million dollars, and like especially for a band, kind of like trying to come up you know like like we're still we're still in the grind right now and like you gotta like weigh money and quality and that's such a hard thing because i feel like the rule there is like good things aren't cheap and cheap things aren't good so find a good middle ground until you can get a kemper or a you know an axe fx two or three i think it's three now but uh that's, that's where i'm at yeah okay so if you get a chance check out damn soul my band's called Rivals again. Uh, you can go to www.wearrvls.com. Also, you can look up Rivals on Facebook, Instagram, uh, we're on Spotify, iTunes, like literally every platform. I think you can even look it up on Google. Uh, and thanks for checking this out on Gear Masters.